Well, the home of Yellow Metal TV is right here in Las Vegas, and we just played host to the Consumer Electronics Show. And for all you high-tech guys and gals out there, you know high-tech gadgets are the name of the game. Our very own MC worked the floors of the convention and asked the right questions to get you up to speed on the technology and answers. MC. Thanks, Danny. From iPods to digital cameras and flat screen televisions, the average American home now contains 26 consumer electronic products. And did you know, we spend an average of $1,500 on the gadgets each year. Well, the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas is where many of those gadgets first see the light of day. Here are some products guaranteed to tempt you, or at least make you laugh. Heavy equipment operators love gadgets. And one of these high-tech babies might find their way to your job site. Here's the Jawbone Tooth Headset from Singular. The price? Just $120. This headset operates similar to a cell phone with Bluetooth, but this touches the outside of your jaw and minimizes outside noise. All users hear is the voice they want to hear on the phone. We all work hard to take care of our families, so perhaps this is something they will enjoy. The Walk Up Home Computer HP Touch Smart from Hewlett Packard. The price, $1,799. This is a classy looking computer screen on a stand that allows you and your family to walk up to the screen and write notes, check a calendar, and play music. This is the high tech version of the family with a blackboard or wall of post its in the kitchen. When you get home after a long, hard day bouncing around in that loader, You'll be happy to grab a drink, relax, and check out the Motion Sync Home Theater from D-Box. The price is a cool $10,000. This is special equipment for your furniture. Your chair will rock and roll as you watch action movies and TV shows at home. It's great for making your home video games more realistic, too. And finally, live TV and internet in your car from Microsoft. The price? $1,995 for internet and $2,995 for live TV. Although some cars enable drivers and passengers to use the internet, this function allows you to also watch local television shows live while driving or parked. This is perfect for those times when you're waiting for the rest of the crew to show up on early morning shifts. All these high-tech gadgets are just simply unbelievable. Here at Yellow Metal TV, it's part of our job to keep you posted weekly on the latest tech news and how it can improve your life as a heavy equipment operator. Be sure and check back with us each week. I'm MC for Yellow Metal TV. Thanks, MC. You are hot. For you Yellow Metal TV viewers who like the ladies and dig the knowledge, stick around for our very own Rio Temple. Next week, Rio takes us behind the scenes of the National Association of Heavy Equipment Training School's new boot camp. It's a great new way to teach potential heavy equipment operators the trick of the trade. Nayhats arms their students with the latest technology to teach them what they need to know. Each student is given an iPod, a kind of talking textbook, if you will, that is certainly an advantage and addition to the hands-on field and instructor training that the school already provides nationwide. Here's a preview. The students don't have to wait for an instructor to give them the format for the tasks and so forth that they're going to have to perform in the field. They can take it, put it in their pocket. When they get on the machine, if they need a little help, they pull it out take a little preview and then go ahead and perform the tasks that they want so to. Matt, I understand that the Kablaka learning method is actually the basis for Yellow Metal Boot Camp. Once again, that was Rio Temple and Chris Cannon of Yellow Metal TV. The duo reports on a new high-tech way to teach the trade of heavy equipment. We'll see that full report on Nayhat's new boot camp next week. Next time on Yellow Metal TV, nine reasons to rent heavy equipment rather than buy. It might be just right for you or your company. But remember, we only supply the info and the advice to make you the best heavy equipment operator you can be. Plus, a look at the growing Hispanic population. They're learning English and signing up to fill the void the heavy equipment industry has by going to school and getting certified. Hispanics are welcome in your classroom. Most definitely. 
most definitely. We try to help them out. We recently we had uh, we had a student out here that just he had no English speaking skills. A real a real nice guy. He was probably about 30, 35 years old, and he was just pretty he was just pretty tired of working in uh, as a laborer, and he and it's just the money wasn't there for him. That's next time on Yellow Metal TV. Plus, I also sit down with Kim Harold for a look at producing oil in Canada. The process of finding it, digging it, and piping it all the way to the United States. It provides big business for heavy equipment operators looking for job placement. Kim tells me the money is even better there in Canada. Who would have thought it? Canada. Well, Yellow Metal TV does. That's who's finding you the info you need to succeed as a heavy equipment operator. For MC, Chris Cannon and Rio Temple, I'm Annie Blanco. We leave you now with a look at our Yellow Metal theme, written by Chris Cannon and voiced by Eric Chase, the voice of Yellow Metal TV. Thank you and see you next time. A young man reached for a future, but there was none there to be found. With nothing working behind him, camped out there on the ground. One day, he saw a bulldozer clearing a path through the pass. The operator noticed him there and smiled as he asked, Hey son, I need a hand if you could offer me one. There's a dozer sitting empty and I got a lot of work to get done. I'll pay you for your schooling if you come and work for me. And until you get your feet back on the ground, you can stay in my old trailer for free. While attending his new school, he learned more than just a trade. He found a whole new way of living. He was no longer afraid. He now has a bright future and new ways to cope. The training changed his life and brought him new hope. The story is being told each and every day about a man in a machine who shows a boy a new way. All across this great country, brand new operators are being born. And as they run these big yellow machines, a badge of honor is worn. Yellow metal takes a boy and turns him into a man. It makes his dreams into reality. And so, now, you can.